Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I am absolutely honored, thrilled, and beyond all else excited to share with you a lovely PR haul from oh, a most revered brand by me, and that is Surat Beauty. I go a long way back loving Surat Beauty. You see, uh, one of the co-founders um, of the namesake brand is Troy Surat. And I don't know, you guys have to bear with me here. I am a fashion and beauty journalist, so sometimes I just like to give little facts. And we have a whole box here of cool stuff to get into. I need to calm down. But I just want to tell you a little bit in case you are not familiar with this magnificent brand. So Surratt Beauty, uh, one of the co-founders, of course, is Troy Surratt, the famed, let me tell you, makeup artist. This brand was founded in, oh, I think it was 2012, 2013. Um, so been around for quite a while now. Troy Surratt actually, funnily enough, was raised on a farm in the middle of the United States and made his way, as so many of us do, in the fashion and beauty industry to New York City, where he famously became a protege to Kevin Aquan. Now, if you, you guys know Kevin Aquan, I mean, the, the, Kevin's name is synonymous with 90s supermodels and really one of the first household names in beauty. And that is uh, where Troy Surratt first got his name. And that, of course, started this magnificent career of the incredibly talented Troy Surratt. Now, the kind of motto of the brand Surratt, his namesake brand, is Japanese ingenuity, New York sensibility, or they say born in Japan, raised in New York. And that is because Troy Surratt, you know, I said I have a haul here. Let me tell you about a haul. Troy Surratt used to go to Japan, uh, when, you know, the, before anybody was doing this kind of thing, and he would bring back true hauls of Japanese makeup to go through and look at and play with. And it really became the inspiration for his name namesake brand. Also, by the way, little factoid here before we are going to get into the makeup, don't worry. Little factoid here. Do you guys know that Troy Surratt helped launch Tarte? Did anyone know that? Little, little fact there, a little fact. And we love Tarte. So just thought I would tell you that. Okay, so I have a whole box here. If you were able to see, and I'll put a little b-roll up here, um, I filmed the amazing and adorable box that the brand sent over and I literally I was joking I did an Instagram reel and it sounded like I was joking that I was going to faint but I actually was almost dizzy I have a massive collection of Surat Beauty products I have been a fan forever and I've done many many reviews and I have these coveted gray squirrel hair brushes that I would run back into a burning building to save. I wish I were kidding. Rebecca, they're just makeup brushes. You would run into a burning building to save these two. Trust me, they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the cheek brush today. <laughs> okay, so I did open that box up in an Instagram reel, but we are gonna go through all of the products today. And for the most part, other than that gorgeous brush, maybe a shade or so of foundation, I'm going to use only, I'm gonna do this full face only with the beautiful shades that they sent over. And we're gonna make a mess of my arm, testing them all out and playing with them. Please know that I am just exceptionally honored, thrilled, and like beyond geeked out fangirl excited. I know you guys, I have worked in fashion and beauty. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm, I'm an editor and writer. But as I always say, the day that I get jaded is the day I should stop doing this. I still get an absolute excited, get so excited. And this brand, oh, see, I'm, I'm getting up. Okay, so we are gonna, <laughs> we are going to get into this beautiful PR box that the brand sent over to me and I am so honored. And please glance below in the description bar so that you can get all of the information on all the products I'm showing here in case something floats your boat. Uh, because let me tell you, it's all such a treat. We're gonna recreate this look right now. Stay I am surrounded by a table of such beautiful, beautiful, exquisitely beautiful makeup items. I can't wait to dive in here. Now, as I told you guys, I'm going to work with really what was sent to me by Surat because there's so much beauty here. But I might give a little mention and maybe bring in a little bit of my own Surat collection because it's also very large. But you know, I lucked out. I wasn't sent any repeats. Maybe 
Okay, maybe in the foundation, but it was time for a new one anyway, because I go through them. Okay, so we're going to start here, you guys. We're going to start with the Perfectionist Primer. I'm going to tell you all about these products as we use them today, okay? So this primer is a water-based emulsion, and it oil absorbs, kind of, you know, has powders. It's lightweight and won't, will not pill underneath any sort of foundation. I've even used this with SPF, no pilling at all. This is $95 on the uh, site and I have linked it below. So here it is on my hand, just so you can see it's a really kind of cooling formula and I am going to take it from the back of my hand now and just put it all over my face um, in a gentle way, kind of like I would skincare. And it really does kind of make a nice base. I don't have greasy skin, so I tend to think, oh, what will I need that for? But that powdery feeling, even without any sort of an oily complexion, really makes a nice place for makeup to sit. So it is a primer that I really recommend to a lot of people when they ask me about primers. Now we have two and I, I love them both, so I'll tell you how I'm gonna use them. We have two uh, choices here that Surratt sent over for foundation. We have the Surreal Skin Foundation Wand, and we have the Dew Drop Foundation. The Dew Drop Foundation, when I get to that, I'll gush about that. The, the Dew Drop Foundation is probably when I am asked, you know, I spend a lot of time recommending current foundations, just released foundations, so, you know, I have to stay within that parameter. But when I am asked for all time favorites, if you have been someone who's asked me that, you'll know that I have said the Surat Dew Drop. So I think I'm going to start though with the Surreal Skin Foundation Wand. And I think this shade may be a little bit light. So I'm gonna actually use this, and I have before in the past, as a concealer. So basically this comes, this is basically comes in 20 shades and is $75 and it is a wand as you see with a brush and it's a beautiful brush too. So it's kind of a, a primer, a foundation and a brush in one and you can get refills for this. So though it is, I'm pumping up the, uh, the product right now. So though it is $75, the refill is only 62. So I'm going to take a Sonia G uh, brush here and I'm going to take it off the top because I'm not using it in a wide area. I'm going to use this just so I can show you basically how it works. So I'm going to use this as today as a concealer but this is absolutely lovely as a foundation as you can see it just sits on the skin so beautifully and the large brush is useful. You know so many times we have brushes on complexion products and you know they're no they're no good. They're too stiff. They're too, this is just the right amount. You know, Surratt does no brushes. Okay, so I'm just using it today just to give a little bit of coverage. and I don't even have any foundation on at all. I just thought the shade, this is the shade 5, it comes in 20 shades, might be a tad bit light. Just, I don't know, just a tad bit. So I'm just going to put it on here and I'll speed up the process a little bit. I'm just going to put it on here over some blemishes and some discolorations. Um, and this is super, super pretty as, and look at the shade actually isn't really very light, is it on me? This is super pretty as a very quick, very gentle uh, foundation, but let's just use it today so I can use both. I'm just pumping it up here uh, as a concealer. Now that that is finished, again, Beautiful as a foundation, but I wanted just to be able to show you both. Now let's experiment with the Dewdrop. I used two different shades of the Dewdrop foundation. Surat, the brand, was kind enough to send over shade five, and I currently have almost just a teeny bit left of my shade six. Shade six is a little bit cooler. Shade five is a little bit warmer. I like to mix them. So this is mine combined with what they were kind enough to send over. This is a really cool. It does drop out, so I'm going to do... Oh, three or four of that. Oh, this is the prettiest foundation. And then I'm going to combine it with a few shade, a few drops of the number five that they sent over. So this foundation, the reason I love it is I love a really good, it feels so nice over that primer too. I love a really good light to light medium coverage. It's really my favorite for, it can be elegant for evening and it's perfect for every day. And that I think the Dewdrop is the absolute best at hitting that light medium right on the mark. And I do like to mix those two shades, but uh, the Surratt website can help you find the right shade. You know, you can, they, 
they actually can sell you a little sample too, which is really kind of nice. Um, but I just mixed the five and six and I can wear either one alone, but I thought it would be fun to mix it. Okay, let's look at brows. Now there are two options that we have for brows and we're gonna use both. I like this, um, let me show you this. This is the Expressionist Brow Pencil and it has little refills and I'll show you how it works. So I have, this comes in four shades, but uh, Surratt was kind enough to send two. They sent Brunette and Raven. So this is Raven all put together, but the way it comes, that's Brunette actually all put together. This is the Raven not put together. It kind of comes in here and you basically just take out the little pen portion here and you take out the top and just slide it right in, super, super easy. So let's go ahead and work with the brunette shade and it is, as you think, you roll it up and then basically you are going to take the spoolie on the other end here, of course it comes with the spoolie, I like to brush the brows down. I am a journalist, so I'm not one for technique, but I do the best I can. I like to write about the stuff more than instruct about the stuff, but this is the brunette shade. I think it's actually really nice. And here we go. I'm just making some little some little strokes and whatnot, but we also are gonna try, this one comes in four shades, um, and they're pretty forgiving shades. And that it's just a really kind of perfect brow pencil, and of course, depending on your skill level, you can draw in your brows. I just like to fill mine in just a little bit. I kind of have some you know, naturally uh, sparse brows. And then of course you can use the spoolie on the other side to just kind of fix them into place. Now there's also the Tinted Brow Pomade, the Expressionist Tinted Brow Pomade. That's $35, the brow pencil is $42. And this $35 product, if I can look over here, comes in four shades. They have set light brown and deep brown. Let's grab the deep brown and see what we think. I have not tried this one before, so I'm excited about this. They actually have the four shades too, by the way, there's a clear. If you wanna just, or if I liked what I did here, I could just go over it with clears to hold it in place. This is really nice. It has kind of this flat side that you could laminate with. I'm not much of a laminator, but you can if you want to. And then it's got this side here with the brush. So let's give it a try. This promises to be, it's not a wax, it's not a gel, but it kind of shapes the arches. So let's use the dark brown and see what we think. I have to make sure that it's not runny because when, oh, it's not, oh, I like it. When it's runny, um, I make a mess. <laughs> but this is not at all, oh, that's really pretty. And like I said, you could laminate with it if you want to. What do you think? Oh, that looks much nicer, doesn't it? And I have two shades to play with. Oh, definitely a fan. So now I was able to just draw in a little bit, make my brows a little bit more a little bit fuller, and then I was able to set them too, so they're not gonna go anywhere. So that's really, really pretty. That's a nice product, and I hadn't gotten to try that one before. I'm a big fan of the brand, so there's not a lot that's gonna surprise me, but that's definitely a new favorite. Okay, now, let's do the eyes. And we have a lot of choices here. Uh, first of all, Surratt makes a product called Prismatic Eyes. Okay, so the Prismatic Eyes are a duo here. I'm gonna show you. I don't think we're gonna, oh, I don't know, maybe we should use these today. They sent over two shades. So it's a, it's a cream and a shimmer duo housed in this sweet little, little uh, case right here. So when you undo it, you have a kind of a cream base, like a matte cream base, and then on the very top, you have a shimmer shade, a beautiful shimmer shade. And they were able to send over the neutral eyes and the glamour eyes. So let me just show you. The neutral eyes uh, has, I'm gonna use a brush here because my nails will make this hard for us. The neutral eyes has a cream base that is a brown, you can just kind of see the way that would look. And then it has a shimmer that's kind of a, a rosy shade. And you go in between with those two shades and they're absolutely lovely. And then they also sent over Glamour Eyes, which is kind of plum and blue. So let me just show you that, just because I want to I just want to share all my good stuff here with you. Here's the plum shade. I'm just kind of playing with all this stuff on my hands. Oh, that's so pretty. And then the shimmer on this one. And it just goes together really nicely for travel. And if you're a makeup artist, it's really nice for your kit. Isn't that pretty? Wow, those are nice. And it's just, it's really kind of a, you know, we talk about one and done. It's a two and you're through. 
I just made that up. It's two when you're through. Um, and those are, they're, they're a lot of fun. And I have, I don't know which one of those I have. These are, they have five different combos and the matte can be kind of like a primer if you want, or you can like line with it on the base. And then the, um, the shimmer, of course, just, it's a duochrome and they're beautiful duochromes. Really, really nice. Okay, but I want to do something fun here. I want to talk about the artistique shadows. Okay, now this is something I have even more experience with and they're really fun. So I don't know if you've ever seen the artistique shadows. They are tiny, sweet little things. Oop, look at that. I don't want to hide it. I have a tiny little palm and they're tiny little thin and they open up. They're so gentle and sweet but they also have a sticker on the back. That's right, a sticker on the back that you can peel off. And when you peel off the sticker, you could put them in a little case. So Surratt sent over two of these cases. This is the Petite palette, nice little mirror, and this will fit four of the eye shades, or two eye shades and a blush, or two blushes, you get the idea. And there's also, this is um tw this is $20, and there's also a larger one for only $5 more that will hold even more. Um, and I just, I haven't put mine in yet, but I'm going to. You just take off the little back, it's sticky, and you stick it in there. So I thought we would use these on my eyes today. So let me show you what we got here. Ma Petch, which is kind of a, I'm just gonna do this really quickly with my fingers, which is kind of a golden peach shade. Look at that, ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, Zibeline, which is kind of a shimmer taupe shade. Oh, which one are we gonna use? Got Swa, which is kind of a sheer beige. I think I might use that in the inner corner. That's pretty, isn't it? And I got Ingenue. I gotta use Ingenue because it's a glowing pink and I love pinks. And like I said to you guys, I am going to peel off the little sticker on these. Aren't, that, aren't those pretty shades? I'm gonna peel off the little stickers on these and put them into the palette. And then of course, the great thing about the prismatic eyes is they just kind of travel as one. So I have a bunch of, today. right now I have some Sonia G brushes. I got some Surratt brushes coming out in a minute that uh, you're gonna swoon over, I admit. But I think I'm gonna use this Ingenue Glowing Pink all over the lid because I cannot resist pink. And this is a, uh, I cannot resist pink, and I want it in the corner, and I just want it everywhere. I think a pink eye is such a pretty look. And I'm going into the inner corner with that. I, I just think it's really fun and soft. I'm going out for dinner tonight, and this is going to be the makeup that I wear. And I'd like to put this um, shimmering taupe shade, the Zibeline, over, same brush in the crease a little bit. And I know these are all shimmer shades and I know that I have hooded eyes. I just like the look of it. And I just kind of want to put it all over and then in swirling motions and then up a little bit on the sides just to kind of raise my eyes a little bit. And I think it goes, all of these go really well together because they're gentle, buildable shades. And then I want to take another brush. I think I'm going to go under the eye with the same shade. And then let's go, oh, why not? Let's go with the Golden Peach Mapesh shade and we're just gonna kind of add a little bit of depth to the lid. I'm just playing around now, guys, I'm just being silly. But it still comes out as a very pretty, pretty eye look. We're gonna move on to blush now and I am going to work with some of the beautiful powder blushes that Surratt sent over, but let me put in a word for the Artistique liquid blushes. Those are $45 or you can get actually a duo. I just wanna let you know that, that you can get a duo of, I noticed online, the liquid blush and one of these beautiful powder blushes. Let me introduce you to some from my collection though, you guys, because I just, I just gotta tell you this here. Surratt makes brushes, okay, and um, these brushes are gray squirrel. I have a whole collection of them, and this may sound silly to you, but I really don't care. I leave them in kind of a shrine. They stay in their boxes, so here's the box. It says Surratt on it, see it? And then when you slide it open, it's just like the music plays, the harps play. And then here is the cheek brush. So this is gray squirrel. I use these, I wash them, but I, oh. See, sorry, give me a moment. Just give me a moment to myself. Okay. We have two shades. 
of these beautiful artistic blushes, okay? I've got uh, I've got Ponceau, which is kind of a salmon pink, and then I've got Tumafe Rouge, which is kind of a bright pink. And again, these have the stickers on the back where you can take them off and remove them and put them into the palettes, which I will do. Oh. First of all, let's swatch these and then we'll decide. I think I'd like to use a combo. So here is our Ponceau. And here is our beautiful pink shade. Gosh, those are pretty. Okay, well, here's the brush. I know we get special music and everything. Let's go into this kind of peachy pink. And I love, I'll tell you why I love, oh, just give me a minute with this brush. I'll tell you why I really especially love Surat blushes. The shades are very, if you own any Surratt blushes, whether they are in the liquid or the powder, the shades are, are different. They are really pretty and really bright, but they're not overwhelming. You know how sometimes, and I, I could name some other brands, but I, I'll be nice and I won't. They're, the shades are too powerful and you feel like the blush is wearing you. What I love, uh, sorry, <laughs> these brushes. What I like about these blushes is that they're, look at how gorgeous this is. Now I'm over applying for you guys to see the shade here. Um, and I guess I can't really put the pink on now. Look at how pretty that is. And the blush isn't wearing me. I've over applied for this video. Let's use the brush one more time. I've over applied for this video and it still doesn't feel like too much. Look at the pink, just let's add a little bit of this pink, just, just a hair of it on the, oh my just a little bit on the nose. I'm just trying to work with this brush more. It's gonna go back in its shrine. I do wash them, I do use them and enjoy them. I don't want you to think I don't. I'm just letting you know. And the blush for me, it really makes the look with these blushes because the shadows I chose are so sweet and gentle and I like the bright, cheerful cheek. I think you might agree. Okay, now we have to finish up the eye and we're gonna do it with one of my favorite items that I have and now uh, they were nice enough to send a second and I will cherish it. And this is the Lash Curler. This is the famous, the very famous, it's, it's, it's reputation precedes it. This is the Surratt Reveille Lash Curler. Now, though I didn't do some prices, I should have on the screen. By the way, the blushes that we just used are 60 each and the uh, brush is a little bit more. The brush is, the cheek brush I just used is 130. It's gray squirrel the gray squirrel. Okay, so this lash curler, which you can buy a little refill of the pads for like $10, but this is 36, the refill is 10, and it does come with one. So this is a Japanese design with like bouncy silicone pads. Um, and if you know anything about lash curlers, the Japanese lash curlers are the most coveted forever, and it just doesn't put a lot of force. It comes with one refill, and you should replace, by the way, if you don't, you should replace these pads like every few months, every three or four months. Okay, so we're gonna do three squeezes before we apply mascara. Squeeze at the base, squeeze in the middle, squeeze out. At the base, lift in the middle, lift, and on the outside. And I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Now, the best thing about this curler is it will never catch or pull your lashes. It will never make, have you ever had that happen? If you use an inferior eyelash curler and then it makes your eyes water because you just plucked almost an eyelash out and then you're, you've just done your makeup and it ruins it. So this is a beautiful, highly recommended, you don't need me to tell you, highly recommended lash curler. It's a lovely one. And of course, to go with the Reveille Lash Curler, we have the Reveille Mascara. Now, there are three mascaras that Surratt makes, and including the lash tint. I love the lash tint. I should list my review for that. I love that. I did a review for that. That's 50. This is $32. It's got a really slim brush, the one that we're going to use today, and this lifts and lengthens, and it's humidity proof, and it's a nice kind of jet black, plus it's a tubing mascara. Now, while we put this on, wiggling it from root to tip. Do you guys know, I don't want to talk down to anybody, but what the difference between a tubing mascara and a regular old mascara. So a tubing mascara, oh, this is so pretty. I haven't tried this in so long. What a delight. What a treat. I love a tubing mascara. A tubing mascara, and then I'm using the ends here, you guys, let me just tell you, 
just to pick out a few lashes and kind of highlight the ends and get some more of the mascara on the ends of the lashes just because it lengthens them so well. So Tubi Mascara wraps fibers, basically, around your lashes, and it comes off really easily. You'll know you're wearing a Tubi Mascara because you won't get raccoon or panda bear eyes. And then um, in the evening or whenever you take off your makeup, often you can notice ribbons of mascara on your cheeks because when it comes off, it just kind of unwraps cleanly uh, from around the lashes. So I really recommend a Tubi Mascara. Um, some people only use a Tubi Mascara on their bottom lashes, and that is, I'm going to get the bottom lashes here, that is a solution if your bottom lashes, no matter what you use, if your bottom lashes tend to still spread and give you panda bear or raccoon eyes, this is a great solution. And look at how pretty, I haven't even done the bottom lashes, and then I'm going to quickly do the bottom lashes. I don't have a lot of bottom lashes, so I don't spend a lot of time emphasizing that, let me tell you. But... I do use a lash serum, so I like to, I like these lengthening, and I love tubi mascaras, and that's the eye look done. Isn't that beautiful? And look at how the cheeks are so bright and so lively without taking over the look, and that's the, what I've always felt is the Surratt blush advantage. Bright, cheerful shades, but not loud. I don't like loud, I don't want to look like, um, I got into my mom's makeup, which I did do as a child, as you can imagine. But I don't want to look like that now um, when I'm a little bit older than a child. I just want to look like me with a cheerful blush on. Um, but I love, I just love, I just want to put a little bit more of the pink on uh, because see, it just doesn't, it just doesn't take over the look. Here's the brush again. It just doesn't take over the look and it's so pretty and cheerful. Oh, I just love it. Okay, now let's talk about let's talk about a lip look. Okay, so we have quite a few. I have a beautiful, beautiful gloss and lip and and cream lip product in a palette from Surat. But today we are going to use the lip sleek that they sent over. These are thirty four dollars each, but you can also get a set of five for one forty five, so you save some money. There are eighteen shades. Okay, here's what was sent to me. Let's choose what we got here. We have New de Soleil, which is, and all this, by the way, is going to be linked, guys, so you can, you can get all this. You don't have to keep up here. It's all linked below. So we have a peachy beige, okay? So this is our peachy beige shade, and that's a really good kind of no lipstick look. That's the New de Soleil. Then they sent over the Pom Pom, which is kind of a cool, bright pink. Oh, that might be pretty. I'll show you the way the, oh, that's pretty cool tone, isn't it? Then they sent over Heaven. I'm really interested in Heaven, which is a cool rosy beige. This is fun for me because this is one product I have not tried from the brand. Oh, that's pretty. That's so me. Let's save that. But don't forget, we got we got a blue red in the form of Ruby. Rubis, actually. Roll that up a little bit. Oh, so pretty. And then we've got Ritzy, which is a sheer coral shade. And I love a coral. I don't have enough corals in my collection. And that is right there. Oh, wow. I don't know which one to wear. I'm really, really between Heaven and Ritzy. And I love the fact, so the way this works is it's a slim line, so really easy to put on, really, you know, goes on well with the lips, works well. I've been wearing these before I even filmed, so let me just be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I had to break into them, you know. I, you can wear it really well with a lip liner, really pretty. And they click up and they wear in a really sheer, pretty way. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go with Heaven right here. I'm going to put this up just a little bit and then let's apply. And there we have it, a full, and I mean full, face of Surat. My infatuation with this brand goes so deep and is backed up by the fact that everything is so sophisticated and so perfect. Who would think that a bright blush would still come off as demure? And who would think that such pretty gentle eye shades would still come off as somehow bold? 
especially when paired with the right mascara. There's something about the knowledge of makeup and the interplay, that kind of swagger of New York with the refinement of Japanese kind of shades and knowledge and the packaging that makes this makeup brand extraordinarily special to me. And I am, as I said, so honored that the brand reached out to me, um, truly honored, and so thrilled to share the makeup with you guys. And if you haven't seen any of it before or you aren't familiar, or even if you are and would like to add to your collection, I have linked it all below in the description bar for you to take a look at. But it is... This is such a beautiful look, and I am. I'm going out to dinner tonight, and I will be wearing this face of makeup that we just put on together. Thank you so much to Surat for sharing, and thank you to you at home for sharing with me. Let me know in comments what your favorite Surat product is. This lip, this lip sleek is so comfy right now, and just looks so pretty, and I think I'm gonna throw a different shade into my bag to even reapply after after dinner. Just beautiful and I'm absolutely thrilled. Tell me what your favorite Surat products are, if you would, down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come over and say a big hello over on Instagram and TikTok too. And you can become a bigger part of this channel by becoming a member if you want or by giving super thanks, but it doesn't matter to me as long as you are here. I am super happy to have you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.